Hi everybody, my name is Tina. I'm your South Florida garden guru, and today I wanted to talk about how to propagate tropical milkweed. Uh, tropical milkweed is the host plant, larval host plant, of uh, queen and monarch butterflies, although the adult butterflies will use them as nectar sources as well. Um, it tends to be the most commonly available milkweed species in garden centers. Um, South Florida, or Florida in general, does have 20 native milkweed species, um, of which only three are commercially available, and two of those are more, um, more used to growing in swampy environments, which is difficult um, for most gardeners to grow in. So, Tropical milkweed, uh, although it is non-native uh, and there are issues with it, it's the most commonly available one and the one that you'll find most frequently in butterfly gardens. Um, a lot of uh, gardeners will tell you not to plant native milkweed for a number of reasons. Uh, number one, like I mentioned, it's not native. Number two, there are issues with uh, parasitic protozoan growing on the foliage of uh, the tropical milkweed plants because they are evergreen. So my solution is to um, cut them back every so often. And the third of which uh, is that there, there are people who believe that the tropical milkweed in South Florida uh, will disrupt any um, migratory patterns of the monarchs that tend to go to Mexico. Um, I tend to believe that the monarchs that we have here uh, are ones that stay here year round. So I personally do not believe uh, that it interrupts with their migratory patterns, but that is up for discussion. So anyway, uh, I wanted to show you how to propagate tropical milkweed. So um, the first way that I like to grow it, which is the quickest, easiest way, is to grow it from cuttings. So after your caterpillars have really done a number on your plant, um, they'll leave basically a bunch of sticks <laughs> poking out of the ground. So uh, what you'll want to do is uh, take cuttings that um, have two or three nodes minimum. Um, so I'll start from the bottom here. One, two, three nodes on this cutting, snip it. One, two, three nodes on this cutting, and snip it again. I need to sharpen that blade. Um, so you're gonna want at least one node under the soil here. And in this tray, all I have is um, a mix with peat, sand, and um, pine bark. But uh, anything with good drainage will do. Just make sure to keep it moist while the plants start to root. Uh, it doesn't take very long for them to root, maybe a few weeks uh, at most. And uh, you'll know that they're done rooting when you start to tug and there's a little bit of a resistance or when uh, there's new growth coming out uh, any of the nodes. So I'll stick this other cutting here. Uh, if you are sticking cuttings directly into a pot, maybe do multiple cuttings per pot. Um, the other way to grow uh, milkweed or tropical milkweed is through seed. So I kept some seeds here in a Ziploc bag um, because they tend to go aerial. <laughs> if you leave them outside, they will blow by wind. That's how they self-propagate. So I'm gonna take some of the seeds that have fallen to the bottom of the bag here. Just take a pinch of them. I'm gonna go to the same tray and just kinda, yeah, these are the little wispy things. Um, just sprinkle them on top of the soil. Just kind of bury them a little bit there so that way they're stuck on the soil and keep these trays moist and you'll have milkweed plants within months. Thanks!